Hey, good morning, Moran High School. Today is Wednesday, October 25th, and here are your announcements. Let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag. All right. My name is Mr. Roram, and I'm the associate principal that oversees educational services here on campus. For those of you that are new to the high school or who maybe just are unaware, we do have an ed services office. That's our counseling office. It's in the administration hallway on the left when you come in from the commons. If you haven't come in yet, I encourage you to come have a conversation with any of the individuals on the screen here. Miss Green is our assistant who can help schedule an appointment with any of the counselors or advisors, which is Dr. Vanderplue, Mr. Pasetsky, and then our alpha counselors, Ms. Mazahari, Mr. Proffer, Mr. Lara, Dr. Golahar, Mr. Catalano, or Ms. DeShazo. These are the people that you can come chat with if you have concerns such as these. Perhaps you're having academic concerns where you're having some struggles in a classroom. You wanna discuss class options for what you should take next year. Maybe you need to have a conversation about what you're gonna do after high school and to ensure that you're in the best position for that. Or maybe you're having some social issues on campus. That could be issues with peers. That could be some social drama, mental health issues, or you just might need to have a quick conversation with somebody. Our counselors and advisors are here to have a conversation with you. Come check us out in the Ed Services office. Right now, our freshmen are meeting with all their counselors. So freshmen, our counselors are gonna be calling you up to have one-on-one conversations. Those conversations are gonna include things about your academic progress, your future plans, the ACT in the spring, and then making sure that you're gonna be successful here on the high school campus. This is gonna be something that our 10th and 11th graders, you're gonna do next semester. One task that I have all of our counselors ensuring happens is that they're gonna have individual conversations with every single person on this campus. So when you get that pass, come on up. Quarter one is over, which means we're in quarter two, and I've noticed a little bit of a trend, and that is I've had more conversations lately with students who are saying they're having a hard time in a class and they want to switch. And here's something you need to realize is that we are not going to switch your class. We're going to have a conversation about how to help you be more successful in that class. And that means four things. The first one is we need you to talk with your teacher. Our counselor or advisor can help set that conversation up for you and help you with it, but you have to talk with your teacher. You have to take advantage of tutoring and tiger time. You have to develop a plan for what you are going to do and what our teacher might help you do so that you can be more successful. And then we have to have an adequate period of time go by before any other conversations about switching happen. These four things have to occur. So if right now you're struggling and you want to, you want to have a conversation, you can come up with Uh, with a counselor and advisor and talk with them or you can talk with me. But the first step after that is you have to talk to that teacher and do the other three things on the list. We have supports on campus to help you academically. That's tutoring and that's Tiger Time. Please use both. We have a lot of students that are out switching classes during Tiger Time, which is great. Please make sure you're using those times appropriately to get the help that you need or to take advantage of our many clubs and activities on campus. All right. Now we're going to move on to athletics and operations with Mr. V. Good morning, Tigers. This is Mr. V. Anueva, a.k.a. Mr. V, one of your associate principals and athletic director. Uh, Before we get started today, I wanted to give a few shout outs to all of our athletic teams who are making their way and trying to reach their goal of getting to state this year. Uh, You guys are all doing a great job. Uh, A special shout out to our Girls flag football team who this season finished 12 and 0 in the regular season, undefeated in the first inaugural season here at MHS. Great job, ladies. Athletics, students, anyone interested in winter sports, registration has already begun. The first practice begins October 30th. Uh, remember, there is a $75 athletic fee due by November 7th. Stop by and see Miss Misty. The sports that are available for winter sports are basketball, wrestling, and soccer. Now, remember, all the sports have boys and girls teams, so make sure you go out and participate. Make sure you complete all the required paperwork that's required. Um, Stop by, like I said, the Seamus Misty to make sure you got everything uh, turned in and ready to go. And don't forget, you have to pay the $75 athletic fee, and it's due a week after the season begins. If you do not pay that athletic fee, you will not be allowed to practice or participate uh, in any games with the team. So make sure we take care of all that good stuff, okay? 
Uh, also, we have heard you loud and clear. Students are not liking the way our, our restrooms are being damaged or other parts of campuses. So I wanted to give you guys just a little bit of information on some of the consequences that, uh, that the school is giving out for destroying school property. Okay, this is very serious. A lot of you guys have walked into restrooms and you've seen uh, some, some of the vandalism, some of the damage. So just wanted to let you know what we're doing now to make sure to hopefully stop some of this because I know that you guys do not like when the restrooms get closed and you got to walk all the way across campus to a different restroom because when the, close, the one that's close to you is shut down. So parents will be notified. So we will call mom, dad, guardians, whoever's home, and they'll be made aware of the situation, okay? We will be giving out short and long-term suspensions depending on the damage. Now, here's, here's a big one. Students' families will be required to pay the cost of the damage. Yes, you heard that right. If you damage something, you guys will have to pay for it. So make sure that we're not working uh, to damage any kind of our property here on campus. And you may be cited by law enforcement, okay? So let's just please steer away from that. But as we look at our fines for some of the restroom damage, let's just look at some of these prices here. I mean, they are pretty expensive. Bathroom stalls, I mean, to replace one is $2,000. To replace a sink, $800. To replace a toilet or a bathroom door, they're $500 each, right? And remember, all our bathrooms get shut down for a week. And it's it's not fun when we're walking all over campus trying to find a restroom to use. Now, we did hear you guys, and I know that you guys want to keep our restrooms looking nice. So please help us out. Either, you know, talk, let's talk to each other. Let's talk to our classmates. Uh, come on up to the office. Let me know. Let any of the admin know. We want our restrooms to look great. We want them to look great for you guys, for our guests who come on campus. And, and anyone else has got to use those restrooms, okay? So let's keep that Tiger Pride going. And let's just make sure we take care of our, our facilities, okay? All right, Tigers, that's it for me. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on campus.